So, hi there. <laughs> I am just off the plane. Have spent some time just chilling this morning and feeling like what I need to do right now is reading for you guys. So that's what I'm doing. I know. I know. So this is going to be December 18th through the 21st. So mostly, most part of this week leading into the holiday. Um, we're going to do a lot more stuff as we lead into the holiday here. But you guys, the uh, Twin Flame journey is the thing that's uppermost in my heart today. So that's what is getting attention from me. All right. So I spent the weekend in St. Louis. My friend Jen and her wonderful friends Lots of divine empresses there. Shout out to you guys. Um, really awesome. Really amazing. Amazing women um, doing amazing things. Ta-da! So empresses, let's see what's going on with the journey. That's exactly the first thing I wanted to do when I got off the plane. Of course, I got off the plane last night, and so I slept for 12 hours. Which was awesome, by the way. I highly recommend it. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but that is the thing that I am noticing more and more and more right now is that I am feeling super tired and the need to really recharge your batteries. Um, so over the holidays, oh, there's all this stuff. Over the holidays, I am definitely of the mind that we need to chill. So let's do a reading for you guys and see where we're going. See where, where we're going. See where we're going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boy, this is just jumping up at me. Queen of Pentacles, absolutely. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Empress. Okay, wow. Queen of Wands. There is something here about this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles that keeps showing up to me as the embodiment of this Empress energy, the creative energy that is passionate and grounded that has taken care of money, taken care of stability in their own lives, in your own lives, okay, that allows for this Empress energy, that allow it's allowing for love, okay? So um, that feels really strong to me, like if that's the only reading we do today, that's not going to be the only reading, but that, that to me is just incredible. Temperance energy here, Sag energy. Wow, look at the feminine energy here. It's really strong. The masculine energy is wanting to work together. Okay? So there's still some, like, I feel, okay, this is really good. Virgo energy here. Uh, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Overarching energy of this reading, and then I'll show you. There's a move towards stability here. You gotcha. Knight of Wands. So... If this has been in the past, like a passing, um, I don't want to say like one night stand, but Knight of Wands is kind of, if this has been in the past, something like this, okay, because you guys have been able to embody your feminine energy, have really done the work, okay, the masculine might, and you know, look, I don't want to bash the masculine at all, but if you guys have done your work, um, this, this, your masculine is not wanting you to fly away. Okay. And so that's the thing. Remember, we've been talking about this for a couple months now that if you're, um, in the space of this, okay. So look at this. So temperance star energy for the feminine temperance star really being uh, being more balanced, focusing on yourself more, focusing on your life more, on what you're doing. Not so much focused on the masculine right now. This is very much on what do you want for the 2019, for the new year. Really, um, the you're just like trusting. See how she's got her back to the temperance angel? Like just trusting that it's going to work out, right? Trusting that what will come into your life is coming into your life for purpose, for reason, celebratory over the holidays, very much so. I think there will be something more to celebrate. I feel like your masculine has had an awakening. Judgment, seven of swords. They might, are, they might be sneaking away from where they are to get to you, okay? And this three of pentacles making an offering. In this deck, see how they're making an offering? Like, you have done the work. 
This is actually the card, it's not of the Ascended Master, but you guys have done the Ascended Master work. And so now people are recognizing you for your work, and I mean that in your physical work, your work in the 3D, but also your emotional, spiritual uh, work that you've been doing with the twin energy. And this is the this is the Divine Masculine recognizing that. So reconnection, rebirth, re... Um, uh, reconciliation, okay? Seven of Swords might have to um, sneak away from where they are in order to do this. Now, I like this. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands. So there's this whole idea of um, stability, okay? Four of Pentacles is a little bit selfish. There is, a, there is something about holding on. They are trying to hold on to you as you're like, woo, you're up in the ethers here a little bit. Hermit energy. So if they are... They're realizing that to go inside is to be connected to you. They're realizing that to do the work inside, it's not all about the 3D workout here. Boy, this is coming through so fast, I can hardly say it all. Uh, it's not about like, what kind of work have I done? Although the Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is about creating stability. We're going from these threes, so if it was a third party, instead of going to two, which we have here, now we're going to four, which is about you know, an actual, like, relationship. Like, the love is here. We knew that already. Okay, we got that already. We got that, right? The love is already here. But with the Empress and the Queen of Wands, this remember what I said to you about this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands? It's really about you guys have done the work of the stability, done the work of the what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my creativity? The Empress for 2019, birthing something amazing. You guys are really... You guys are on the cusp of some amazing stuff here. Not just, not just with the masculine. I want to make sure you understand that. This is not about like doing something so they'll come. This is about doing something for you. Okay? This is about doing something for you that's celebratory, that's feminine energy, and then it can move to structure. Then there's something here about it moving to structure. One thing here. I'm going to use a second deck for the extended read on this one. Hermit energy. What is this about? Ace of Pentacles. They're going inside wanting to, because Ace of Pentacles can be a ring, can be a commitment, okay? And Virgo energy is grounded too. They're going inside wanting to understand, like if they've, if some of them have lost you, like you've walked away from them and you're just doing your own work, you're just paying attention to your own stuff. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Empress, Queen of Wands, not really paying attention to this kind of fly by night energy. If they've been, if that's what they've been offering you, now they know they need to step up their game. They know it. Okay? They know it. They need to make an offering that is meaningful. What's the seven of swords about here? And then I'll go to the extended. What's the seven of swords about here? Woo! You came jumping out at me. Seven of cups. They're confused. Two of cups again. Confused about what this meant. Eight of cups. They're walking away from the thing that's not love. Whatever they're encased in. Encased? Really? That's the word I'm using now? Um, whatever they're confused by, they're now understanding that going towards the true love is where they want to be. So this is what the rebirth is. This is what the reawakening uh, is. This is what they're definitely having this awareness of like, Oh, this person's not the third party. This person's my partner. Okay? They're having this awakening. So Seven of Cups, they're walking away from any confusion, anything that wasn't really serving them. They're really walking away from that. In this deck, in this mythic deck, the Seven of Swords is like stealing away in the middle of the night. You see that? To go toward your door. Um, seven days. That happens fast. That's seven days. Seven of Swords is seven days, okay? A week. So in the holidays, that's what there's going to be a celebration about. On the next holiday, the next holiday is Christmas. Christmas, Christmas Eve, something like that. There's something really special happening here. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Really making a legit offer. If it before was you know, uh, sex whenever they could, or, you know, like sort of putting you off low priority. 
I feel like you walked away from that. You just got rid of that. You were like, I'm not paying attention to any of that stupid crap. Okay. And now you're in this place. They are recognizing that you are somebody who deserves better. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. They always knew that, but I think it wasn't about you. It wasn't about them not thinking you deserved it. It was about them thinking that they couldn't do it. Okay. That they didn't deserve you somehow. That they didn't, um, they didn't have what it took. That they weren't able to do this in some way because they had to walk away from something else. Okay. So let's do the extended read. I'm going to look, I'm going to use this other deck here. Actions to take, blocks to love. Let's get messages from the Divine Masculine for you. Let's see how this unfolds over the next seven days, uh, maybe between now and the end of the year. Good job, you guys. Good job. I love this. I love this. Queen of Pentacles, <laughs> Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, Empress. You guys are doing the work. And you're no longer accepting something that isn't what you want. Good job. All right. The extended link is below. I will see you on the other side.